Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are looking at the Joker Titan from McFarlane Toys, obviously, their DC Multiverse line. Uh, and this is from Batman Arkham Asylum, the video game, which I, I think is one of the greatest games of all time. However, I hated this character. I hated the idea of this this Titan Joker for this boss battle that was not thrilling. I have to say, like, I love that game, but the way it went out, uh, I, I was not enthused. So I never bought the figure that DC direct did. However, now I've got a full Arkham line from DC Direct. I haven't been buying any of the DC Multiverse releases, but I bought this one because I feel like I have to have a Titan Joker, and this will fit in with the DC Direct figures, I think. So let's open this guy up, take a look at him, and see if I am going to regret this purchase or not. Well, I won't regret it, because if I decide I'm not going to keep it, uh, then I will pass it along to my son who will be happy to have a big, giant, monster Joker figure to go with his DC Multiverse collection. I don't know why. I just, as soon as he injected himself with the, the Titan uh, serum in the game, I was just like, Ugh, we couldn't have come up with something better than this. Now Joker turns himself into... And it also seemed like something that they couldn't really come back from, uh, which obviously they did. But, I don't know. I just, I didn't care for it at the time. I've played the game many times since, and it's fine. Uh, I've, I've kind of accepted it now. But it's, it's not one of my favorite moments in video game history. And it's not one of my favorite boss battles either. Because the idea that the Joker turns himself into this gigantic creature, and then like hops away to let his goons fight Batman. I don't know. All right, let's see. He's got two more of these stupid plastic things I can't quite get to. Oh, these are full on those heavy plastic filament twist tie deals. I hate these so much. I'm not sure the nipper is going to get through them. Am I, am I going to have to, like, stop the video to get a saw to cut through these stupid things? Ugh, I absolutely hate these. And they're, like, doubled up in, in here, too. All right, I'm going to give it one more try from a different angle. And then I'll just stop the video, because you guys don't need to, uh... You guys don't need to see this struggle. This, this pathetic struggle of man against plastic. Get in there. Oh, thank you. I hate those things. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to yank him out of here. That's right. Wow, lots of articulation on this guy. Lots of detail. Uh, and then, of course, we've got, uh, as I have been told recently... The trading card that people are indeed collecting and do enjoy having in the packaging. I don't particularly care about it. Uh, but it does have a bio on the back, which I do like quite a bit. Real name unknown. That's a nice touch. Uh, so I'm going to have to change my tune and say these trading cards are worth it because of the bios on the back. Uh, and of course, he's got the stand. And that stand may be necessary for this guy because he's... Got a real interesting design here. Let's take a look. I've noticed that... Oh, those are just straight up like rubber, which is fine. That doesn't bother me at all. As long as they pretty much maintain uh, the shape they're supposed to maintain, I, I don't really care. So that's fine. Uh, although I don't love that you can see the seam where this piece was put into the other plastic. Uh, I've noticed, to my eye, it seems like the... Oh, this is also rubber, which is which is double fine because it's hair, so it should have a little flexibility. All right, I'll get back to what I was trying to say three sentences ago. Uh, it seems to me 
the McFarlane's Multiverse Arkham figures are not necessarily taken from game renders or whatever that they're stylized a bit because I feel like there have been things that aren't quite right or a little different. Uh, and that's, you know, that's okay. Change it up a little bit to make it a good toy. I don't have a problem with that. His, uh, his pants actually look really, really good. You can see they're They're almost, they, they've got the fabric of his suit. It has a texture to it. Uh, looks really nice. Ripped open Hulk style here. And articulation wise, he's got kind of your standard hinge with a swivel at the top of the thigh. This waist joint is hidden under the pants. So there's no exposure there. That actually looks really good. And then this abdominal joint, obviously it's kind of an eyesore and it's not doing a whole lot. Uh, I might need to work it to get it looser, but there's not a lot of range going on with that thing. I don't know how worthwhile it really is. Uh, shoulder joints, you can see I was playing with them before. He's got the uh, those cups that sort of simulate butterfly joints, and but look a little better, I'd say. And, of course, the hinge here. Uh, no swivel at any point here. But he does have a double-jointed elbow with his grotesque bones Sticking out of his forearm here. All the blood and everything on this guy is very impressive. He's nasty looking. Uh, really long, long uh, limbs. All of the sort of meat missing from him here. Or I guess the skin is missing. The meat is exposed. And then all the green veins uh, from the injection of the, the Titan serum. And that face, just pure malice. Nice long nose. You could stab yourself. Oh, yeah, be careful with that new nose. You could poke a hole in yourself with that. Uh, and then knees, you got double jointed knees as well. I've done a pretty good job of making the knees, the uh, front part of the knee, look pretty good with the sculpt, even though it's a separate piece of plastic. Uh, I've got more bony parts sticking out here, blood chunks taken out. And they've actually done a really nice job with the wrist. Uh, the ankles are kind of the standard McFarlane. I don't care for them. Uh, but the wrist joints are actually very nice here. They're kind of standard action figure joints. And then the ankles, I don't like, this is my... One of my biggest problems with McFarlane stuff, uh, I don't like that there's this whole ball in between the shin and the foot. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like it's really an improvement on other action figure lines, and it's an eyesore. I just don't care for it. And then he's got uh, toe joints as well, which I think is stupid. I don't care for toe joints. Uh, but look at those nasty toes. Gross. The amount of paint on this guy is very impressive. And just height-wise, this is what we're dealing with. So, let's see if I can get him to stand up reasonably easily. And uh, that is a yes. One try, standing up. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, oh, see, this is the lack of rotation here kind of a problem because you can't get a really <laughs> uh, so that arm's removable I'm sure that'll pop right back in yeah that's fine uh, so you can't get a really good like swiping pose with this guy because you don't have the amount of twist in this area that you need but I mean still you know pretty good not bad I just want to get one action pose out of him. Okay, and that, I will say this. Oh, those annoying ankles. So, 
again, kind of just one try of trying to get a cool pose. He does get a really nice deep bend with that ankle. Let's see if he can stand up using the toe joint. Let's let's give him a, a toe joint stance. I don't think that's going to be as easy. No, that's not going to work. All right. Get that back down there. And there you go. Uh, he feels pretty secure. I'd probably put a little more effort into posing him if I was actually, excuse me, if I was actually going to put him on the shelf. But nice work. Looks great. Big, beautiful figure. Just for fun, uh, let's put him next to Clayface from recently. And you can see, and obviously these aren't from the same source material. This is a, a DC Rebirth comic book based Clayface. And this is a video game Joker. But Joker, a little bit, little taller, a little bigger. Get out of the shot, Clayface. Your time is done. Go watch that Clayface review uh, if you didn't. So there he is, your Joker Titan. Oh, I didn't really look at that. Pretty decent articulation on the head there, huh? Not bad. So you can get a real nice sort of crouched over uh, attack pose. So there you go. Uh, Titan Joker, or Joker Titan, available now wherever you get your toys. I like him. I'm glad I've got him. I'm probably just going to put him on the shelf uh, with the rest of my, or with my DC Direct Arkham stuff. Uh, it's, you know, it's just a big part of the games and a character that I have to have. So thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, keep it gross. What a great gross-out toy, too, really. He belongs in your collection just for that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Smash that like button if you like needless things.